Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, May the 11th for fifth grade. This is going to cover our homework from our lesson working on understanding volumes. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. So to start with, uh, for number two, we can go ahead and multiply these two sides to get 16. 16 times 3 is going to give us 48. And we are working with cubic inches for that. For number three, we are doing seven times four, which is 28 times two, which gives us 56, and that would be cubic feet. For number four, we're doing five times five, which is 25. 25 times five gives us 125. And we are working with cubic centimeters for that. Number five, we are comparing uh, these two shapes. So we can do five times three to get 15. 15 times four gives us 60. And then you could also do 4 times 3 to get 12, and 12 times 5, um, you could do it that way as well. And then for our other side, 6 times 5 gives us 30, times 2 gives us 60, so both of these are equal. So as I mentioned, for number 6, we can go ahead and put 12 of these boxes, so they're 4 by 4. So we can do 12, excuse me, 16 times 12 times 4. So we can do 16 times 12, and that is going to give us 32, 16. So 192 would be my first stop, and then multiply that times 4 uh, to get my volume. Because again, our height is going to be uh, 4 inches high. And so that should give us 768 cubic inches. And we also, a cage, we also will write that with this. So when we were doing square, we would put a two for cubed, we would put a three. So you can either write it as abbreviated cubic inches this way, or you can also abbreviate it that way. Number seven, we are working with five times two, which is 10 times four gives us 40. And so our two measurements would be 40 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. And then the other one would be 40 inches cubed. So on the back, how many layers of cubes do we need? Well, we're starting with 16 cubes. And so 16 times three, and you can kind of guess that if you're looking at the shape because this would be roughly the height of our second one, and then we would put a third one. Um, so that would give us 48, excuse me, uh, total cubes for three layers. And then for this one, we uh, can go ahead and do 48. So it's eight times six gives us 48 times five, gives us 290 and that would be cubic feet. Number three, our design is uh, made up of polygons. The one that would be a pentagon would be B. For number four, we are working with finding the X value first and writing that down, so it would be positive three. Then we go up four for positive four, and so this would be the ordered pair that would represent the point P on the coordinate plane. What is the least number of acute angles? So the issue that we have, we have three different types of triangles. And so I'm going to try to represent all three of them in a way that hopefully <laughs> uh, works out. So we can have an obtuse triangle where we end up with, um, let's say that we do this and then pretend that this is a point here. Um, and I kind of accidentally flattened it out. Um, so we can have an angle here that is higher than 90 degrees, but my other two angles have to be acute angles. For this one, I can have a 90 degree angle, but because my total for my angles has to equal 180, both of my other angles here would be acute angles. If I have a um, acute triangle, then all three 
are going to be less than 90 degrees. And in that case, it would all be the same measure as well. So the least number of acute angles that I can have in a triangle would be two. Uh, if I do 16 times three, that is going to give me 48 ounces for uh, number six. So those are the homework problems for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom, or you can reach out to your classroom teacher if you're finding uh, these videos through a YouTube or Google search. So hope you have a great day. I will have a new lesson coming out on Wednesday, and I will see you tomorrow.